Lord, help me to remember that nothing is going to happen to me today that you and I together cannot handle. Welcome, my beautiful brothers and sisters, <laughs> once again after a hiatus, coming together, working through the portal of the Casa de la Migración, the House of Love, where the medicine is love here in Abidjania, in the heart of Brazil. And we have another gorgeous day here. Deep, deep blue skies, the colour of the mantle of our Divine Mother Mary, her love and protection, the colour of the casa. And we have these little white, fluffy, surreal white clouds passing slowly by. For anybody who's been here in Abijania, you know the Abijania skyscape. And Everything is constantly changing and this is a great reminder that all things change, all things are impermanent and we are just travellers here on earth, just floating by like these gorgeous, amazing clouds of all shapes and sizes. And you might be able to hear the birds singing in the background there. Uh, this morning in the valley I saw seven array azules with these extraordinary deep blue underbellies and yellow under their wings and they were flying majestically overhead and then I looked to the other side and there were two toucans with their electric yellow beaks beaming in the morning sun so we are truly blessed and we live on an amazing planet and really the energy in Abidjan is extraordinarily high so we're honoured to be able to work together again live Wednesdays, Thursdays and Fridays as we come together as one family under the banner of the Casa de la Nacion, the House of Love, where the medicine is love. So wherever you are in the world, relax if you're lying down, great. If you're under a crystal bed, super. And if you prefer to sit upright as we do here in the current, feet firmly on the ground to ground us. Don't cross your body in any way, be open to give and receive. And let's put our intention into doing the best work we possibly can, always. The more you give, the more you receive. And allow this miraculous high vibration to flow through all of our chakras, pouring forth from the centre of our being, our hearts, joining us together, heart to heart, one family, this beautiful current of love and light, wrapping around the globe right now. And put a glass of water beside you this is blessed and we drink it at the end of the world to nourish us mind body and spirit and as we close our physical eyes which is totally necessary for this divine work the best sight is insight we open our spiritual eyes where we can see beyond appearances all there is we are reminded again and again that we're spiritual beings having a human experience and not the other way around, we're not the body, we're much more than we could ever imagine. The body merely houses our eternal spirits. We're not living eternally in these physical bodies, we have an expiration date. So let's seize the opportunities of each and every moment as we work from moment to moment to moment. And we are not alone, we have an infinite amount of help available to us, these phenomenal entities of light and love working with us 24 7 many of them working through the christ consciousness and today is a very special day not only is it the first of june the beginning of a new month and we're back live june is the month of the sacred heart of jesus so we always like to celebrate this extraordinary master that walks with us every step of the way and sometimes even carries us when we need it. And the most sac sacred heart of Jesus is one of the most widely 
practised and well-known Catholic devotions, wherein the heart of Jesus is viewed as a symbol of God's boundless and passionate love for mankind. This devotion to Christ is predominantly used in the Catholic Church and Anglicans, Lutherans and some Western Rite Orthodox, basically all of Christianity, have a devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. And this devotion is especially concerned with what deems to be the long-suffering love and compassion of the Heart of Christ towards humanity. No matter what we do, we're like both children and Jesus will always love us. The popularisation of this devotion in its modern form is derived from a Roman Catholic nun from France, Margaret Mary Alcock, who said she learned the devotion from Jesus during a series of apparitions to her in the mid-1600s. And predecessors to the modern devotion arose in the Middle Ages in various facets of Catholic mysticism, particularly with Gertrude the Great, who we will revisit another time. There are a number of activities that bring devotion to the Sacred Heart alive in our hearts and our lives. The Lord's healing promises flow through our embrace of these aspects of the devotion. Love, of course, as in everything, is at the centre of all these actions. Love for Jesus and a desire to have that love grow in our hearts as we receive more and more of his love for us. And without a doubt, prayer is the place to start with any devotion, and especially with the devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Because it is a devotion that centres exclusively on our love relationship with Jesus and the Christ Consciousness. And just like any relationship, our relationship with Jesus requires communication to keep it strong and vibrant. Prayer is always our ongoing conversation with God. So as we join together now, once again, live in this moment, let us pray. Jesus told us many, many centuries ago that when a few are called in his name, he will be present. As we trust the promises of the Christ consciousness, may Christ return to earth and be reborn in every heart and soul. And as we navigate these challenging times now on earth, may we try to see with the eyes of Christ, never see a need without doing something about it. And Christ's teachings were all about love thy neighbour as thyself and forgive thyself and forgive everyone, everything, always. And Jesus gave us a beautiful gift bestowing upon his 12 apostles, the very high vibration of the Lord's Prayer that teaches us how to pray, how to talk to God, our Father, how to surrender to the will of God, how to forgive ourselves, our brothers and sisters, and how to embrace this gift of life we have been given and all the gifts of creation. So let us pray with open hearts, without ceasing, together, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Rather, deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, 
the power and the glory now and forever. Amen. And we turn now to our Divine Mother Mary, the Mother's Heart, the Feminine Power, Mother Earth, Queen of Peace, Mother of Jesus. We ask her in this sacred moment to intercede for us, her children, to somehow alleviate the suffering of humanity in this planet of atonement. To help us in our hour of need. To go within on the journey of the heart, our mission on earth, to find the peace, the harmony, the tranquility, the joy, the love, the forgiveness, the humility, the faith, the hope, the gratitude, the courage. Deep, deep within us, and it is within all of us, we are divine beings, having us all carnage and disincarnate on our healing journey back home, merging into the light, out of separation into oneness, one heart, one soul, one light, one love, one family. Hail Mary. Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, the light of the world, the sacred heart of Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us, your children, now and at the hour of our passing. Amen.
knowing God is much more important than knowing about God. And Jesus reminds us, if we knew how much we were loved, we wouldn't be sleeping. We need to get to know God's heart more and more. And this, of course, is through the power of the Kaza that we all come together. And we have experienced God's love there, anywhere we are in the world. Most of the world's problems, large and small, could be solved if we only knew how much we are truly loved by God. That love comes in all different forms and sizes. Knowing God's love convinces us that we are enough, we have enough, we do not need to compete with others because God's love is an unlimited resource for everyone. There is a very healthy balance that we can find in devotion to the Sacred Heart. A balance between awareness of our sins and the humility to accept them. We're not perfect beings yet. We're working on it. We run into trouble when we travel in the extremes. Acting as though our sins are not sins at all, or at least are of no matter to God. Or the opposite, focusing entirely on our unworthiness, which is a form of vanity and hidden pride. Through prayer, we experience closeness with God and the true love of his heart. And this love sets us straight, conquers our fears and completes us. And in turn, as we come to know the greatness of God's love, we begin to look for ways to help others to know it too. Our hope to know and receive God's love is in all of its fullness and promise of restoration comes through our prayerful dialogue with the sacred heart of Jesus. St. Margaret Mary explains, we can tell Jesus all the secrets of our hearts, disclosing our want and misery to him who alone can remedy them and saying, O oh friend of my heart, she whom you love is sick. Visit and heal me, for I know well that you cannot love me and yet leave me alone in my distress. Short prayers, known as aspirations, have always been a part of a devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. They are sweet sayings that we whisper to Jesus out of love for him. Some of the most well-known ones are, Sacred Heart of Jesus, make my heart like yours, and Sacred Heart of Jesus, I trust in you. One particularly that my mother taught me. It's very Irish. Some of the most well known are other aspirations that can be quite effective and bring great comfort in times of stress. Sacred Heart of Jesus, I believe in your love for me. Or, most sacred heart of Jesus, grant that I may love you more and more. And, sacred heart of Jesus, protect my family and have mercy on us. Simplicity is everything. And love is the only prayer. Take some time to talk with Jesus and share your heart with him 
in prayer. Tell him your heart, your fears, and the way in which you feel unlovable. Ask him for healing. Ask him to show you how much he loves you. Jesus loves to answer these kind of prayers. Let us pray in the spirit of St. Francis, the Franciscan prayer to the Sacred Heart. O oh, most holy heart of Jesus, fountain of every blessing. I adore you, I love you, and with a lively sorrow for my sins, I offer you this poor heart of mine. Make me humble, patient, pure, and wholly obedient to your will. Grant, good Jesus, that I may live in you and for you. Protect me in the midst of danger. Comfort me in my afflictions. Give me health of body, assistance in my temporal needs, and blessings on all that I do, and the grace of a holy passing on into the celestial fields at the end of my earthly life. Within your sacred heart, Jesus, I place my every care. In every need, let me come to you with humble trust, saying, O oh, most sacred heart of Jesus, help me. Amen.
Jesus' words. Come to me, all who are weary and find life burdensome, and I will refresh you. Take my yoke upon your shoulders and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart. Your souls will find rest, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. So many of the entities of the Chasm and Dominus who are working with the Christ Consciousness, which is all about love. Love is all there is. Love never ends. We are love and we are light. And love is the only prayer. And Jesus appeared to St. Margaret Mary in the mid-1600s. And among the words spoken to her, she heard Jesus make 12 promises to those who would respond to the pleading of his sacred heart and make an effort to return his love. Saint Mary Margaret once said, I do not know of any other exercise in the spiritual life that is more calculated to raise a soul in a short amount of time to the height of perfection and to make it taste the true sweetness to be found in the service of Jesus. These are modern versions of the 12 promises that Jesus gave to St. Mary Margaret in the 1600s. And they are beautiful in their simplicity. Jesus tells us that if we embrace his sacred heart, he says, I will give them all the graces necessary in their state of life. I will establish peace in their homes. I will comfort them in their afflictions. I will be their secure refuge during life and above all in their passing into the heavenly kingdom. I will bestow abundant blessings upon all their undertakings. Sinners will find in my heart the source and infinite ocean of mercy. Lukewarm souls shall become fervent. Fervent souls shall quickly mount to high perfection. I will bless every place in which an image of my heart is exposed and honoured. I will give to my devotees the gift of touching the most hardened hearts. Those who shall promote this devotion shall have their names written in my sacred I promise you, in the excessive mercy of my heart, that my all-powerful love will grant to all those who trust in me. My divine heart shall be their safe refuge in their last moment. Let us pray. In the spirit of the Christ Consciousness, with all of the entities of the Casa 
who walked in the footsteps of our brother Jesus, many bearing his dignity. Saint Rita of Cassia, the wound of the crown of thorns on her forehead. Saint Francis of Assisi, bearing the first known human stigmata in history, all five wounds of her brother Jesus. And more recently, our beautiful brother, Saint Padre Pio. who wore all five wounds also of Jesus, plus the wound of carrying the cross on his shoulder. And our beautiful Dom Ignacio and St. Francis Xavier, who founded the Jesuits, the Company of Jesus, to love and to serve in all things for the greater glory of God. We ask them now in this sacred moment, to intercede for us, to ask our brother Jesus with his sacred heart to help to alleviate all of our suffering of mind, body and spirit, carnage and disincarnate. O oh, sacred heart of Jesus, living and life-giving fountain of eternal life, infinite treasury of the divinity and glowing furnace of love. Thou art my refuge and my sanctuary. O adorable and glorious Saviour, consume my heart with that burning fire that ever inflames thy sacred heart. Amen.
very special and important time now for all of us here. Let's relax into our physical bodies now. Our hard work is over for now. We are open to receive after giving up our positive loving energies all afternoon. As you give, so it will be given you. In our mind's eye now, let's visualize a waterfall, like the waterfall here at the Casa. Or any place of sacred running water that you know is all the gifts of Mother Nature. Big blue butterflies helping us with our transformation. As we shift dimensions into a whole new earth paradigm of love light, the move is on. Painful endings are bright new beginnings. There's no going back now. We are well on our way. And this is beautiful work. Always, and we are not alone, ever. Strong green oak trees purifying our oxygen. Bird of paradise happily, generously serenading us in the divine symphony. Carpets of magnificent, colorful, fragrant roses are sacred. being kissed by hummingbirds, bumblebees and even more butterflies, brilliant sunshine and crystal clear waters, embodying rainbows of light. Let's all go to this beautiful place together. Bring your family and friends with you and bring those you need to forgive and those who need to forgive you. This is why we are here on earth in this moment in time and space. We have come through lifetimes to this very moment, whether we realize it or not. Now is the time. There's never been a better time to do this work. This is the very reason for our existence. So let's hand everything over to our creator, the architect of the cosmos, transmuting all denser energy into divine light. Forgiveness is unlocking the door to set someone free and realizing we were the prisoner all along. So let's dedicate ourselves to this work of liberation. And let's bring anyone who's particularly struggling, and there's so many of our brothers and sisters feeling suicidal, depressed, desolate, abandoned, or unloved, or unwanted, fearful, anxious, homeless, everyone has got a roof over their head. The children of the world, they're innocent, they don't need to suffer. Our brothers and sisters languishing in migrant camps were all children of God, no exceptions. They need to be liberated now. Anyone who's at the mercy of extreme weather, God will be merciful and will hear our prayers. And in this moment, let us bring this highest of vibration to all of our brothers and sisters in the Ukraine who are suffering. Many fled their home. Many passed away. And we remember at this time to send the sacred heart of Jesus, this infinite love, to the warm of us, to help them to wake up to their own divinity. May peace prevail on earth and in all hearts and souls. And let us bring medium to ours this high vibration. And anyone who has struggled or is suffering or can't with problems at that. And we never forget our brothers and sisters without their physical bodies who need to be liberated into the light, extending this beautiful cleansing healing energy to them also. Every being deserves to be healed whether they have a body or not. And as we partake of these crystal clear waters, really feel them penetrating deep, deep into our souls, from our crown chakra right down on through our root chakra, taking away all miasmas, all discomfort, dis-ease, disharmony in all our world bodies, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual. Just let go of anything that's blocking us, stopping us from stepping into our power, our very essence, which is love light. Emerging, cleansed, healed, renewed, refreshed, reborn into the light. The core of our being, the light of the sacred heart. Nothing can harm a hair on our head. Standing, smiling, sparkling, happy in the beautiful sunshine with our family and friends and new friends. Liberated, shining in total gratitude.
for this extraordinary healing we are receiving it is there for us 24 7 as we work together for a better world not only for us but for future generations to come working our way out of sickness into well-being out of poverty into abundance out of fear into trust out of darkness into the light out of war into peace out of separation into oneness one heart one soul one light one love one family amen
as we bask in this gorgeous high vibration of cleansing healing energy now pouring from the portal of the castle of Ignacio, our spiritual home, into our open hearts. Right here, right now, cleansing, healing us, nourishing us. We are in total gratitude to God Almighty for yet another opportunity for us to come together live in our third year, hard to believe, working together tirelessly to raise consciousness of the planet and our own consciousness with it as we all ascend together, working through the portal of the Casa de Nominacio, the House of Love, where the medicine is love. As we learn to live by faith and not by sight, realising that all is in divine order, we're exactly where we're meant to be, right here, right now. It's hard to imagine, but really all is perfect. And thank you God for sending all of your messengers of love, so many angels, archangels, guardian angels, and these ascended masters, unseen beings, elevated spirits, and these phenomenal entities of light and love, so many working with Christ consciousness, which is all about love and forgiveness and gratitude and peace and hope and faith, all the good stuff. And they too had bodies once or twice, so they know all about the human condition, they know all about us, they see our suffering and they know exactly what we need. As we reach out to them, and ask with a contrite heart and we receive everything we need and more for this earthly journey which is so transient and thank you God for sending our brother Jesus Prince of Peace the light of the world the sacred heart of Jesus with us always and our Divine Mother Mary Queen of Peace their sacred hearts beaming out their love light to all of us in this valley of tears, helping us to wake up to our divine essence, to realize that life is oh so short, the blink of an eye, and we've been here so many times before. And there's so many lessons to be learned down here, and it's not easy right now, but we are not alone. We have so much help available, if we would only just realize it. And when the lessons are learned and our earthly life is over, we will be liberated into their open arms in the celestial fields with all of these holy beings where there's no more pain and no more suffering. How great is that? And to all of you, my beautiful, brave, courageous brothers and sisters, pilgrims on the path, for time and time again coming together in this wonderful collective consciousness, one heart. Tirelessly working to bring harmony, to bring everything back into balance. Thank you for your commitment, your dedication, your courage, and it takes guts to walk this path of the light and to realize that it is all necessary, preordained. We have chosen this. God is with us. Thank you for your faith, your hope, your true grit. your patience, your humility, your light and your love to be in service in all things for the greater glory of God, written on the walls of the entities room to remind us always of why we are here on earth in love and service to each other, walking the path together. Faith moves mountains. And your faith is healing you, your family, your friends, all of those around you, and Mother Earth. And your love and your life beaming out from your open heart is changing the world forever for the better. It's true, believe this. We are the ones we have been waiting for. We are the warriors of the light, 
soldiers of the Christ consciousness. Rise up. We have nothing to lose but our chains. We rise by lifting others. Never see a need without doing something about it. We are just walking each other home on earth. Stay elevated. You're doing an amazing job. Thank you. Let us pray with open hearts, without ceasing, trustingly, joyfully, happily, knowing that our prayers will be answered always and in all ways as we surrender to the will of God Almighty. Christ be with me, Christ within me, Christ behind me, Christ before me, Christ beside me, Christ to win me, Christ to comfort me and restore me, Christ beneath me. Christ above me, Christ in quiet, Christ in danger, Christ in the hearts of all that love me, Christ in the mouth of friend or stranger, Christ ever be. O most sacred heart of Jesus, we place all our trust in thee. Amen. Love, loving, love. Namaste.